puppies from a certain new puppy. Roxy's looking at me with a very strange face going, why? Why? Why do we have this new puppy? She's ruining my life. Oh, say hello. Say hello. Hopefully. Hello, YouTube. Baby's playing on her wee mat at the moment, yes. She's rolling around in her own wee. Delightful. In the morning, first things first, get the laptop up and running, ready to answer my emails. Alexis is there from last night because at the moment he can't work in his office because we have to always be supervising these two. Coffee. Coffee. Alexis tea. Coffee. And my coffee machine. I've already had um, a little mini coffee. I like my evil genius mug that Lex got for me. Check out the mini bananas. I've got tiny hands by the way, so this is how small they are. They are so cute. Oh, postman, that means presents, because I'm waiting for one of Lex's um, gifts to arrive still, and one of his sister's gifts, because we're in the house so much, um, I do a, a lot of online shopping, and I'm sure you all, you guys all do it too. So, ooh, there's a gift. <gasps> Let's see what it is. Ooh. ooh. This has Lex's name on it, so that means, I think it looks like shoe box size, so I'm thinking he's after getting me a pair of shoes. A pair of trainers, because he knows I love trainers. So, I'm not allowed to open that. I'll put it in the box, he has another pair over here. The box. Ooh, check these out. These are the new girls baseball tops. So they have like a raglan sleeve, they're really fitted. I think they look really, really cute on. That's like a, a lilac colour with a, like a dusty pink baby pink and then we have an all lilac color and then we have a dusty pink with kind of more of a cerise pink sleeve so they're really cute they'll be going on the website soon so i've been making sure this week that i drink at least three of these and then i have a big bottle that i bring to the gym so that's four so i'm thinking that's about eight glasses of water so i'm hoping that i'm getting all my water in so you need to stay hydrated folks bailey roxy what are you doing are you behaving? Oh, Bailey's a very good girl. Roxy? Roxy? Say hello. Uh, Lex! Lex! What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you do the poo on the floor? Lex, we all know it was you. <laughs> ah, my little family. Today I'm going to be making Lean Laney's burgers. So, so far I have some lean mints. I already have it um, marinated. So it's about 400 grams lean mints. Gonna make about four burgers. So there'll be 100 grams each. Into the mints I've added black pepper, smoked paprika, some chopped garlic or garlic salt, depending on your preference and some Himalayan rock salt. It just has a nice flavor to it. And then, my secret ingredient, is um, I use this uh, smoked chili garlic paste. So I have a number of different pastes that I use for marinating chicken and um, for adding flavor to things. So all you need is like, if you look, it's like an oily paste. I'd be adding in probably about 10 grams, so it's not that much considering it's for four burgers and per 100, 16.5 grams of carbs and 9.3 grams of fat. So altogether that'll be one gram of fat and about 1.6 grams of carbs. And that's in the whole mixture because I'm not gonna be adding that much. Okay, so I've also added some psyllium husks in there because I love psyllium husks, I love my fiber. And it kind of binds it together a bit. So. Just try and mix it all in, super. Um, and then get your hands right in there. And then just weigh out, weigh out each one. Um, so you have four nice burgers. And you can see there's barely any fat in this at all. It's amazing. And the dogs are under my feet looking at me. What? Uh, so, what are you doing? Are you uh, I'm ready to go. Just waiting for Lex to come back from the gym. I'm just gonna put a bit more garlic on them, make them tasty, and a bit of pepper. I'm opting for the large brown rolls, so it is uh, 3.7 fat and 2.2 sugars. I'm not sure about the carb content. 
I'll wait there. So it's 43 grams of carbs. If you wanted to use a sandwich thing, you could use that either. You could also put less meat into the burgers. So you can really adjust it to hit your macros. So this can be totally incorporated into a shred plan. I used to eat these burgers when I was dieting for my show. Uh, sometimes I just use uh, minced turkey meat instead, uh, or just use less of the red meat. Now I've added and added and added. So now me and Lex, we like our pickles. So pickles, I've put on sun-dried tomato. I like that. And then we will add some cheese, some bacon, and then ketchup or mustard, whatever you want to put on. Well, I put some barbecue or something on it, but they're so tasty. Straight cut fries. I'm just gonna oven bake these with chico, paprika, makes it a bit tastier. Okay, and we'll just sit them in the oven now. So I've already been to the gym today. I trained, because I've only got one day left of training before Christmas. So I kind of wanted to squeeze everything in, so I'll feel less guilty about all the races because I'm going to eat Christmas day. So I trained today hamstrings. Um, something that's funny, you do a hamstring curl. Like seated or lying down, that hurts the back of your legs. I often take off my trainers, so I feel like I'm a bit of a weirdo in myself, just training in hamstrings. And then I did a bicep workout and a shoulder workout, and I did a bit of calves at the end. Because I'm on a game, I have more food, and I'm trying to increase my numbers because I've only got three more weeks until I start my shred for um, Xbox. Because I want to do a 12 week shred um, for FIBO. So it's going to be long, grind. But um, I'm just trying to get in as much food as I can, but I'm not going to wait to go and go. Not my weight, but the weight I'm lifting. And I'm really enjoying it, it's a bit easier. I'm actually being able to do it with the form, so that's a new thing for me. So it's good to see the progress in the offices. And we'll see what I look like when I start to shred again. I won't be eating many things when I start. So here we have it. Burgers, bacon, all ready to go. Yum, 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 and we have in the oven our fries cooking away. Yum, yum, yum. And this is for tomorrow. Tomorrow I am making a ham for a Christmas Eve party. So I am going to boil the ham in Coca Cola. Apparently, the sugar in the Coke, and it has to be the full sugar content Coke, not the diet or the zero. And the sugar will just caramelize and it just um, soaks into the ham. So this is our treat day, our infinity macros. So it is not macro friendly at all, but it's gonna be delicious. I am waiting on Lex. I told him to be as quick as possible because sometimes I'm waiting on him and I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. And you can see it from his videos. I'm like a little hunger monster and I get cranky when I'm hungry. I um, have requested that he come straight home from the gym because he meets people and he starts chatting and he starts talking about, you know, the form and what they're doing and the plan and the food. And he's just great, but I'm just like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So to cook our burgers, I'm going to griddle them so I have a hot plate. Christian and Nikki had one in Texas and it's awesome for doing like burgers, um, bacon, do like a full English, Irish breakfast on it. Um, and you can see all the fat coming off it, it's amazing. And I also do uh, pancakes on it. I just got it on Amazon, so it's not expensive. I look up teriyaki plate. Okay, the dogs are killing each other. I got me burgers, got me bacon. Here's tea time. I'm gonna put it on and you have to just get used to your griddle pan and see how hot it gets. Um, I'm gonna use some like palm spray or it's like a fry spray. I use, have a garlic one, which is so good. So I have a butter one, which is good for your pancakes. And then I have this, so it's fry light and it's a garlic infused oil. So you just have a few spritzes on it just to make sure nothing sticks and um, it kind of gives a nice flavour to your food. I, I... We have this um, Sainsbury's Be Good To Yourself Mature Cheddar Cheese. Lex calls it high protein cheese and most supermarkets will do an equivalent. But the macros are pretty good for 30 grams. So we've got 4.7 grams of fat, negligible carbohydrate. But look at that protein. In 30 grams, you get 9.1 grams of protein. I like my super cheap ass cheese, um, you know, those like cheese singles. And this is 50% less fat, so for 100, it's 11.5. It's super. 
super tasty and super mm, macro friendly. Hey. We have a weirdo puppy and another weirdo puppy. Um, that's my one. Yeah. And that's Lex's one. And we got our visitors one. We ran out of space, so I have the bacon in under the grill. Add a bit more flavor. Yummy, yummy. And puppy saying hello. Say hello, baby. Say hello to YouTube. Oh, I love YouTube and I love my mommy. We have burger number one, burger number two, burger number three, burger number four. Lex is back. He has constructed his. Sophia is demolishing hers. Deconstructed. Yeah, deconstructed. And uh, I've already had half my chips. But I put all the salad in the burger. Yeah. Bulk it up, bulk it up. Ketchup on the burger. Yeah, you can put chips on the burger. There's a ketchup. Yeah, in my face. Yum. So this is a typical evening in the Big and Baby household. I'm taking selfies, checking Instagram. I'm trying to resist the temptation that lies within the kitchen because I have all the Christmas treats in and I have um, a girly chick flick on in the background of uh, Dirty Dancing. I've got an early night. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve's Eve, so I'm prepping all the food for our Christmas Eve party. I'll record some of the recipes, they're not going to be macro friendly. Although I am making a soup, the soup will be macro friendly. Yum yum yum. And I'm also making the ham that I was explaining earlier. I'm making brownies for Christmas Day, and I'm making kind of an alternate Christmas pudding. So I've seen it done a few times, so I'm doing my own little take on it. So I'm looking forward to making and eating it. Let's just say I've got like six bars of dark chocolate that need to be used tomorrow and will all be used. So, not macro friendly, guys.